don't know if you ever hear about that, you know. So anytime people, you know, say blue scene back then, they would have a donkey sound. And you know why people stop it? A man go see a blue bag downtown, a big tree, and make a donkey sound, and one shot him, shot him, and kill him. So nobody, nobody follow up that again. And in turn, they see the police, they behave like the, make the donkey sound. Police did charge, and in the, you know, in the gateway of a murder case, you see that, you know. You understand? Yeah, more if ask you want the, Mm. I pray, I pray thee. Sorry. Um, yeah, you have a virgin on the internet named Politics Watch. Sir P. Yeah. Mm, I am not Sir P. Me never ask you if you Sir P. Oh, okay. Because a lot of people, you know, even on my channel and all them things, because of his rhetoric, you know. And I am not, and I don't even know the guy. See, me never, me never even asked if you are sir, he's still there. See, me never, mm. yeah. But um, but the question I may ask you still, do you think um, that Virgin platform assists the police in a Jamaica? Yes, man. And I support him. I support him a, a million percent, man. He's doing a wonderful job because, you know, you have, to have people who talk for the voices. In Jamaica, we always have, remember, you know, the, the, the criminals have more supporters in Jamaica than the law abiding citizens. And you have to understand that crime is a big business. You know? And the people who propel the criminals them to this pinnacle are people who are making crazy money like Dr. Carolyn Gomes. She's the founder of Jamaican for Justice. Jamaican for Justice has done nothing but to empower criminals. And we, Indicom, and we'll go right back there. Indicom is the brainchild because of the extradition of Christopher Dudusco. So that was the way that the labor rights was retaliating against the police force. And guess what? The PMP from the 1990s. P.J. Patterson wanted in the come, and it was the late Edward Siaga that was against it. Even the former commissioner of police, Francis Chadwick, if anyone who knew him would tell you that. So the labor right now, because they were angry with the police because they assist Uncle Sam in extraditing this man who, who was untouchable in Jamaica because the Jamaican police couldn't find, couldn't find any witness or anything to arrest and charge this man, so to send him a prison. You understand? Just like how they were able to convict Zeke um, for his role. You know, the double murder, they, they, they used them from up by Arborview. So the reason why the labor rights and the PMP, the only the only enemy, you know, both of them have in Jamaica, you know, both political parties, is the police. Because remember, the police is the one that has the powers of arrest. So it's both of them, you know, the labor rights and the PMP. And Bruce Gold, you know, was a crimi is a criminal supporter, you know, that labor rights guy. You know. The man and I like police period, you know. I mean, I don't care where any other police were said. The man they are a criminal supporter. So when he creates Indicom, Indicom was created as a way to retaliate against the police. The Jamaican police are the only police in the world, you know, that have no rights, you know. If you're a criminal in Jamaica, you know, you have more rights than a police officer. You know? And the reason why I'm saying that a criminal have the right to remain silent. And a police officer in Jamaica have to give a statement to Indicom about what they have seen and what happened. I, who have served in the military here in the United States of America, not even if, you know, when I was in the military or something, no, not, no, not even a commanding officer could, co um, to fo could force me to give a statement. And if I don't, I end up, I end up at court martial. But yet still in Jamaica, if you do not give a statement, to Indicom, you as a police officer end up in jail. So you see who so, so you see who the system benefits? The criminal. The criminal can kill people, and when the police arrest him, he has the right to remain silent and he does not have to say nothing. But the police officer who is present when something happened have to tell Indicom what happened so that they can charge the other police officer to investigate. Which is so the police in Jamaica you know, don't enjoy any constitutional rights. You know. 
And if the federation, the police federation was not a political organization, they would make certain that the police have the same rights as the citizens. So the same way the criminal can remain silent, the police should be able to remain silent. That's why I'm telling you, if, if half of the laws that they have in America, in Jamaica, the Jamaica, Jamaica would be a crime-free society. A few years ago, in 2007 or there about, there's a part in Miami, they call South Beach, that's in Miami Beach, and there was some shooting with some police officers and, and gunmen and people die and stuff like that, and they fight, recover a gun. And one of the police, one of the police officers said, not writing a statement, and it's the part, you know, you know they, they walked to this, and they came down hard on him and end up in court. And the judge, the judge is a simple in the Supreme Court. I want the big highest court in, in America. So the police have the same rights as a citizen. If he does not want to give a statement, he must have a right to do that. And it, that is his legal right. In Jamaica, you know, many police officers have criminal conviction because they did not give in the common statement and they are fined $800,000. Remember, it's four people, children, not join police force. You know? You're not, no middle class person. A rich person, children, is not joining the police force. Only like Major Anderson, um, who's the commissioner of police, and because he already he already served him time in the military as head of the military, and him having pension and collecting. How much he make? hundred and eighty thousand US every year, and this man have no poli no police certification. You think that could happen in America? I, as a former member of the armed forces in America, it, you think I could get a job as as a police, to be a police chief of any police organization, any police agency in America without having certification? I could not. Um, you have to have certification. So that's where the corruption lies. You understand? But because, this is what they say now, but because um, the police 